Is catheter ablation a therapeutic option to treat ventricular fibrillation? As I discussed yesterday in my talk, uh, there are some cases of ventricular fibrillation that are triggered from one, one spot. And if you can recognize this condition, you can effectively eliminate the trigger with catheter ablation. But these cases are relatively rare, and these are idiopathic cases, which we see once in a few years, maybe. Or there are more frequent cases after myocardial infarction, where it's also triggered from one area uh, within the scar or within the necrosis after infarction. And this can be eliminated uh, by ablation, and this is life-saving procedure. But these are still, this is very small proportion of cases that is at risk of sudden cardiac death, unfortunately. And uh, do we have uh, strategies for prediction of sudden cardiac death after acute uh, myocardial infarction? Well, this is the whole science about this, uh, because uh, back in the uh, 80s, uh, there was a very high mortality after myocardial infarction, and then uh, scientists recognized that low ejection fraction and number of ectopic beats uh, identifies patients at high risk. Then there was a lot of uh, effort uh, put into this strategy to, to improve this prediction, but uh, so far uh, the, the main uh, discriminator is ejection fraction. And in this symposium we heard a lot of uh, lectures about uh, improvement of uh, strategies, about potential markers, whether it's autonomic nervous system, whether it's imaging or uh, ECG imaging, so a lot of data but we need to do studies. We need to change this uh, approach and we need to get uh, new studies and, and change guidelines. But that will really take time and we need to, to coordinate effort of scientific societies and uh, companies and, uh, and scientists to, to come out with some uh, meaningful predictors of sudden cardiac death.